Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Three Minute Story Challenge, week three embarrassing stories. I'm really excited to have my good friend on, John Stevenson. Johnny, What's up? how are you, man? Great. Oh, that was so bad. Great. <laughs> how are you doing, dude? <laughs> I'm awesome. I'm awesome. Um, John and I have known each other for five, six years. Um, he's a really dear friend of mine. He's a filmmaker, one of the best that I've ever met. Um, learned a lot from him, and he has a three minute story for us. I have no idea what it is, and I'm very excited. So, are you ready, John? I am so ready. Okay, got my timer here. And your three minute story challenge starts now. All right, well, if we're gonna talk embarrassing stories, I may as well tell my most embarrassing story. And that is uh, Sunday morning. I'm about 13 years old, I'm in my house. I have two older sisters, and my mom calls us all down to the family computer. And she's like, kids, come have a seat. We need to have a chat. So we all go and sit down, and she pulls up AOL, and it logs on. Like, She's like, I found a really cool thing on AOL that I think we should all take a look at together. And I was just like, oh, God, where is this going? So she pulls up AOL logs in and she's like, there's this feature where I can go and see your internet browser history and clicked on it. And I was just like, oh, no. and I look at my sisters and they're both looking at me like, <laughs> so my mom's like, let's see what we have here. And she's like scrolling and she goes, you know, all kinds of just the worst website names that you've ever heard in your life. And she gets to one, she's like, teenage upskirt cheerleaders.com, huh? And I was like, mom, I didn't type that one in. It was a pop-up, I swear. Like, I was only going to those first ones you read, not all the other ones. So, um, <laughs> She shamed, sat there and shamed me in front of my sisters for a very long time. <laughs> and, you know, the lesson it really taught me is just that you need to delete your browser history. So I learned how to do that very quickly. And years later, um, my sister tells me, hey, remember when mom was like teenage upskirt cheerleaders.com? That was me. That I found it. <laughs> So she later was like, I, I think I made that a little worse for you. I'm so sorry. But, you know, you took it for, t for the team like a champ. So <laughs> um, anyway, you know, don't shame your kids about their bodies because uh, your sexual needs are natural. That was the lesson of my embarrassing story. <laughs> Oh my God, you came under right at 2.45. Ah, okay. Um, which was awesome. Oh my God, John, that was, <laughs> I mean. Shorter's I, better. I, exactly, well, not always. Um, <laughs> I mean, I feel like we've all had embarrassing moments like that, um, but I really appreciate. Now, was it Jill or, or Heidi that was, or should you? Know? Uh, it was Heidi, which is funny because she was always like the goody-goody sister. And she was the one that admitted, I was like, ah, oh, someone has a secret identity, you know. Oh, that, that, you just made my entire year. Thank you for that. <laughs> I, I, you know, I thought you were going to tell Sweaty Guy, which is a story briefly. Do you want to kind of give like a truncated version? You would tell it better than I would. Yeah. Um, early on in my um, career, I was an editor at a sports, a high school sports ESPN type company. And I was learning how to do the, the things, editing lower thirds. Those are the little graphics at the bottom that say your name. And so um, uh, when you do that, you have to look up the person's name and make sure you spell it right and stuff. So I always do that at the end because it takes um, a little bit. So as a placeholder, I wrote some sweaty kid and he's from Lakewood High School. And I edited the thing and it took me forever and I forgot that I had to go back and change that. So I uploaded it to our website and it was blasted out, you know, to all of the people at the high school. 
And like the next day, no one ever said anything to me, but the next day I realized that it said some sweaty kid. And so I was just like, oh my, and back then you couldn't like replace a video. So I had to delete that one and re-upload it, but then it had lost the link from everyone. So no one ever saw the, the corrected one. And uh, I was really ashamed of that. That poor kid, I don't know his actual name. He's, he's, just, he's just still some sweaty kid. He probably is a sweaty yeah, kid. Yeah, and to be fair, he had just finished a game of lacrosse, so he was quite sweaty. And at least I didn't call, you know, say something really mean. <laughs> I mean, you were just call, you were just calling it for what it was, right? Mm -hmm. Who what cares? Is. It's some sweaty kid. That's, that is hysterical. Um, man, thank you. It's time for our, your shameless plug, if, if, if it can be any greater than the stories you just told, but shameless plug. I would highly encourage people to follow Pretty People Pictures on Instagram or Twitter, at Pretty People Pictures. Um, and we have a really cool movie coming out soon. It'll be announced very soon. Uh, we're like just at the finish line and getting this thing done. So it's really exciting. And you will be excited to see what it is. Yes, and I will second that. I worked on the movie, and it is awesome. Um, you should be really proud, and I'm proud of you. And um, you and Jimmy and everyone at Pretty People are just the best. So I Thanks, plug dude. The plug. We um, love working with you. I'm so glad to be here. This was fun, and uh, I miss you, man. I can't wait till we can see each other again and give you a big, like, bro hug. I know, it's weird. Exactly, and it's only, like, I mean, you live 10 minutes away, but right. we'll see. Um, well, that's our show. Give my best to Mia and the kids and Rusty back there. I see him. Rusty Bucket's falling asleep. Paris is asleep on the floor. So, um, thanks, buddy. That was wonderful. And <laughs> now I have embarrassing stories of you on camera. Perfect. It's in the record. It isn't. Is it? It's in the official record. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see you. Take it easy, man.